without a shadow of a doubt. Texas A&M going to handle them. You're the better Tigers, man. They going to handle them for us? Guys, man, I wish we were playing them too. Oh, I wish we were playing them too. Man, I wish we were playing them too, man. Because I want to double, I want double trouble on their ass, guys. I don't want it to end. I want this ass woman to be everlasting. I want Texas A&M to get a piece. I want the Hawks to come back and get a piece. I want us to get a piece. I want us all to get a piece, guys. We need this, man. We need this. We all need to get a piece of LSU, man. What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. It really helps me out. Helps my channel out, guys. Helps me to grow. And also, to all my returning subscribers, thank y'all so much, man. So much for coming back, watching all my videos from beginning to end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. And, um, guys, guys, welcome, man, to another day's edition of SEC football, in which we got LSU versus Texas A&M Aggies. LSU versus Texas A&M, baby. And um, so, guys, okay, I know I made a video on LSU versus the Hawks um, last week, in which, you know, it didn't really go out. It didn't really um, go as planned and whatnot. But the Hawks had a lot of issues on the D-line, man. I heard they, they had a whole lot of starters out, plus – the refs wasn't in their favor, plus, you know, third downs. But it was a lot of stuff going on. But the Hawks barely came up short, three-point loss. But anyway, guys, it's okay. It's all good because it's not over with, as you. It's not over with, baby. But just before we get into the nitty-gritty, though, man, let me pull up Edward's you schedule, and let me pull up Texas A&M schedule. All right. To the left, to the left, guys, we got LSU. Their first loss of the season was to Mississippi State, 44-34, to lost by 10 points. You know, to Mike Leach, in which we thought he was the chosen one all of a sudden, you know, to come into the SEC and light it up in the air and all that crap. But we've seen that Lane Kiff is the true master when it comes to lighting up in the air. But anyway, as time goes on, they play Vandy and all they won, 41-7. to So we thought, okay, then well, maybe LSU was all right. Then they played Mizzou and lost, 45-41. to um, one. Then they, okay, Florida was postponed. It was, if they had to play Florida, they would have definitely lost. Then they played South Carolina, changed QBs with the TJ Finley, and he won 52 to 24. Then with the Auburn and got Motley Wap thrashed, murdered. They got Jason at, um, when they went to Auburn, man. 48 to 11. Then went to the Halloween party right after they got their ass kicked. It's okay, the season's over with, guys. And we don't want to play Bama after we just got thrashed by their little brother, Auburn. So let's just go to the um, Halloween party, hopefully get the coronavirus, which they did. And the game was postponed. So now, guys, and then they play Arkansas, which they barely beat Arkansas, and which is going to get with either way. So now they got Texas A&M. All right, that's, that's um, LSU schedule. And look at Texas A&M schedule. Okay, Vanderbilt. Okay, very, very um, close win here, man, 17 to 12. We was, we was not, you know, we was kind of speculating, like, okay, is Texas A&M really going to be as good as we think they are, or is Vanderbilt really going to be good this year, which is highly doubtable, highly doubtful. But anyway. 17 to 12 win, still a win. Then they went to Alabama, which is us, and they lost 52 to 24, guys. 52 to 24. So I think that's um, if I'm mistaken, I think that's four touchdowns. Then with the Florida now, in which I picked Florida to win and beat them, beat them in their house, if I'm not mistaken, in their house, guys. 41 to 38. So that was that's that's what's like. I don't know, man. Usually when a team plays us. And they lose like that. Usually they're not. It takes them a couple weeks to get back going. But with Texas A&M, they got right back in the game, and they kicked Florida's ass. So I was highly surprised by that. So they beat Florida. Then they went to Mississippi State, beat them. Then they went to Arkansas, and they beat the Hogs. Then they went to South Carolina, and just, man, I don't even want to say what they did at South Carolina. It wasn't right. It was not ethical. It was not. It was just wasn't right, okay? It was not fair what they did, but 48-3. Then Tennessee and, Miss, and, Miss, and Ole Miss postponed. Now they got LSU. All right, guys. So as you can see, man, as you can see, get the camera back right. With these schedules and whatnot, man, with these schedules, man, LSU, they only wins was against Vanderbilt, in which they did be pretty good. Then South Carolina, in which they did be pretty good. And the Hogs, which they barely beat. And this is the Hogs' first year. So they are overachieving big time, guys. 
So if you look at their schedule and look at the um, Texas A&M schedule, which all the wins they have, and they only lost is to the defense and to the um, national championships slash SEC championships. I mean champions and the national um, national champions. Us guys, Texas A&M should have no no problem. What's in hell? No problem. No problem at all, man. Beating LSU. Like guys, this is um like I said, man. I love doing these these videos, man. I love doing these videos because I know for a fact, man. Like I said, you know, I, I know I did win the Hogs, and I would love the Hogs to beat them too because it's their first year, and they talked all the trash to both of us. But Texas A&M got to score the seven with them too, man. You know, especially that game that they went back and forth three, four over times. Yeah, Texas A&M came on top, but then the very next year, which was last year, you know, LSU beat Texas A&M pretty bad, and I think they talked a lot of trash to them too. So. LSU, man, been talking a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit, guys, to a lot of us, man. And now they don't have the freaking check to cash it because they year, this year for them, man, it's sweet. It's sweet as hell for me and the rest of us. But for them, it's hell. And they've been going through it, bro. They only, they, they are three losses and three wins, in which they should have another, um, more losses. They play us in Florida. So, guys, L I mean, Texas A&M, man, they're going to throttle LSU. They're going to destroy LSU. I can honestly say that I 100%, 100%, man, it is no doubt in my mind, no doubt in my heart right here, no doubt nowhere in my body that Texas A&M would not win this game. Texas a and then they only got to win it by 14 and a half. Are you serious? 14 and a half points, man. That's all you think Texas A&M going to beat the yellow belly Tigers by? It's 14 and a half? 15 points? Man, I would take that all day long, man. All day long in my sleep. I take it when I'm eating, in the shower, when I'm just waking up. Uh, 15 points? Hell yeah, give me that. Give me that. I would take it, guys. And Texas ain't there for the... Man, they for the destroy that you, and I love it, baby. I love it, man, because I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch this game and I'm going to be in heaven. I'm going to watch our game and then I'm going to watch theirs too. And, man, I'm just going to be in heaven. LSU ass ain't going to be able to do nothing, man. Them other better Tigers, man, ain't going to be able to do a thing with, uh, with Texas a and man. And I'm going to love every freaking bit of it. Every bit of it, guys. Oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait, guys. So, yeah, man, um, Texas a and LSU, I'm just trying to see what, what all could, could – could LSU possibly put, I mean, could possibly pose a threat? I'm just trying to see any kind of way fashion, guys. Let me know in the comments if you think that LSU can, can possibly pose a threat. Because I don't see a threat at all, man. The run game is not all that. The QB is not all that. You know, defense is not all that either. Guys, and they barely beat the Hogs with the refs' help. So if they barely beat the Hogs now, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and they they only wins really against South Carolina and Vanderbilt, you know the bottom feeders of the other uh, SEC. So guys, come on, what you think Texas A&M gonna do to these boys, man? What are you? Oh my gosh, man! Texas A&M is for the model wop these dudes. They for the model wop them, man. They for the gouge their eyes out. They for the tear limbs from them, man. They for the hell I don't know clip their toenails too short, and and, and and you know that shit really hurts, man. We really get in there. Hey, man, they're going to give you all kinds of nuggets, but they're not going to stop. They're going to keep going until they see blood. You know, they're going to be slap boxing you. And you, you know how you do, you do your little brother and whatnot, slap boxing? They're going to slap box their ass. They ain't going to be able to do nothing about it. They're going to be curling up. They're going to be like, please, no more, no more. Man, I can't wait to see this victory, man, because the Tigers of LSU, those yellow belly Tigers are going down. They going down, baby. They going down, man. I promise you. I know this for a fact. I can honestly say I am happy right now. I am so damn happy, guys, because I know Texas A&M going to do. They only lost is to us, man. The only loss of the year. And Texas A&M is exactly who we thought they was, guys. They are a juggernaut, man. They are, man. They are the second best team um, behind us, man. The second best, guys, in the SEC. And there's no way in the world. That they got the only favor by 15 points. That's disrespect right there. Texas A&M should at least beat these boys by four touchdowns some more, guys. Three, four touchdowns at least. Three, four touchdowns. And if they leave their starters in, it's going to be more than that, man. 
It's going to be more than that, guys. I can't wait, man, because I hate them suckers. I hate them damn Tigers from LSU. They talk so much shit, and they coach, guys. He is the most ugliest coach I've ever seen in my life. All he do is talk crap. You know what I'm saying? F this person. F that team. You ain't going to whip them. Are we going to whip your ass every time we see you? Oh, we should have beat you. Uh, this and that. You know what, man? I, it's all good. It's all good, Ed. It's all good, Ed, because we're going to get you, man. Texas ain't never going to get you. And um and, and whoever else plays y'all, they gonna get you too. And I promise you, I will be here to do a video on it, man, because I can't wait. I cannot wait, guys. And I know I went on a little rant, but you don't understand, guys. Well, yes, you do. You probably do understand. You probably do. Because he talked a lot of trash last year, man. A lot of it. And now he cannot back none of it up, man. Yes, last year he backed it up. Last year he did. But this year, guys. He has nothing to back it up with, man. What? Vanderbilt, South Carolina, and you barely beat the Hogs. I wish they could have, they would have, they should have kicked your ass. They really should have, man. I mean, it was this close. This close. If they had some more starters on their D line, they probably would have kicked your ass. So it's no way LSU is going to have a shot, bro. That's why I'm so, that's why I'm happy, man. I'm happy, guys. I'm happy, man. I can talk about this all day long. The same issue, the same thing. I got to talk about this. It's not an issue. I could talk about this all day because I know without a shot of a doubt, Texas A&M is going to handle them the other better Tigers, man. They're going to handle them for us. Gosh, man, I wish we were playing them too. Oh, I wish we were playing them too. Man, I wish we were playing them too, man, because I want to double I want double trouble on their ass, guys. I don't want it to end. I want this ass woman to be everlasting. I want Texas A&M to get a piece. I want the Halls to come back and get a piece. I want us to get a piece. I want us all to get a piece, guys. We need this, man. We need this. We all need to get a piece of LSU, man, because they deserve it, man. They deserve it. Bring them down. Let them know that, hey, y'all are still who we thought y'all was, okay? Yeah, this was a one-hit one of them, one year. Okay, try doing this over and over again like we do, okay? And then talk some noise. And hell, we don't even talk noise like that, guys, because we done been here before, man. Those suckers ain't never been here before, you know? That's why they talking all this crap. Now look at them. God don't like ugly. But anyway, guys, um, I love y'all, man. I cannot wait to see Texas A&M dig all up in their ass. No homo. I cannot wait to see that. But anyway, man, much love. Much love, guys. And all, stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.